Hello everyone, it's June 26th, 2018. It's Tuesday, it's Harp Tuesday. Hard to believe it's almost the end of June already. And of course this has been a month of Harp Tuesdays with an episode every week, thanks to my patrons. And for this last episode of June, I thought I would just do a kind of a quick refresher course on open octaves. And that's where the left hand is, has an open hand shape and the point of this is to muffle previously played notes. So if we do our normal hand position, right, and maybe we're playing a scale on these, especially on these longer, bigger strings that vibrate for a long time, look at all the, that vibration still going on, all that sound, it can get pretty muddy. And with open octaves, stop that sound by by muffling it. So I did a I did an episode on open octaves and muffling and you can check that out up here. But basically what we're trying to do is put that palm flat against the strings. You know, imagine that there's a, a va big vacuum cleaner sucking the palm into the strings. So completely flat against the strings. And from there we're going to so if I'm gonna play this F, I got my thumb on the F ready to go. I use my third finger Depending on the size and shape of your hand, you might end up using four. Um, and we just kind of squeeze. It's more of a, almost a pinching motion as opposed to our normal sort of closing motion. The, so that's the, that's the basic idea. And there's two things in this episode that I just kind of want to point out that might be something worth focusing on for yourself. One is that sometimes what can happen is we, we're thinking of this position when we actually play and we end up finding that position for open octaves without starting from that, you know, that flat against the strings palm open position. So what happens is maybe we think we're doing open octaves, but you can see those strings are still ringing. We're not actually muffling anything. Whereas it's really important that we start by all the way flat against the strings, right? So that's just something to be aware of in your own playing. Watch, you know. Oh look, I see some extra strings still ring there. Oops, better. Better just be aware of doing that muffle, flattening the palm against the strings before you play. And you can, um, it's, it's easy when we're going down in a, in a scale because we'll naturally stop this lower note as we go to place the note beneath it. And the back, the sort of base of the thumb will stop this higher note. As we come up, you just want to be aware of trying to stop if you're going up in a scale, that previously played string. So for me, my fourth finger trails behind a little bit. But I think I also tend to just slide my hand a little bit so that instead of just going right to this A, if I play the G, I will sort of stop that G as I place the A. So that can be something to, to practice, to just make that aspect when you're climbing up one string at a time, a scale, be as smooth as possible, as clean as possible. And of course you can practice how much staccato you want. So we can try to do it very legato where we're playing and then when we, we play some play basically at the same moment. we can place, we can muffle earlier. So there, I was having that palm flat against the strings, but it was flat against the strings and play, flat against the strings and play, sort of as fast as possible, as opposed to.
so playing around, you know, if, if you feel you want to work on your open octaves a little bit, playing around with both, both legato and staccato. The other thing I just want to mention is, especially if you're kind of new to open octaves, you know that they're for muffling, and it's just being aware of the fact that, in general, the muffle happens as you play and not after. So once we finish playing an open octave, we don't go... So if we say, oh, this is an open octave G, I should stop it afterwards. If we stop it, the only time we stop it is, is we go to place the next note. So if we play the ne F next, yes, we'd muffle that G. But if we go here, even though this is an open octave, we're not going back and muffling it before playing this. Uh, we specifically have to have some sort of notation telling us that we need, want to replace and muffle it. But in general, the open octave doesn't mean to muffle. Part of, I guess, part of playing the open octave, the mu there's no extra motion. The muffle happens as you place. You don't play and then place again to muffle. You muffle before you play. That's the part of placing the open octave. So that can just just be something to be aware of if this is if open octaves are new to you. So anyway, hope that was useful. Again, you can check out my more in-depth look at open octaves and muffling. Uh, Harp Tuesday, some episode quite a while ago. And uh, yeah, I'll be back again, not next week, but uh, in two weeks time. And hope to see you then. <laughs> Cheers.